Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be making a delicious shepherd's pie. Now shepherd's pie usually is made with ground lamb or ground beef, it's an Irish dish, but today we're gonna to be making it with lentils. So this dish is vegetarian. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make two cups of lentils. Um, I made French green lentils. You can use whatever lentils you have on hand. And my trick to making really good lentils is using a broth base instead of water and simmering it also with a bay leaf. So for my broth, I used an organic vegetable, no beef based broth. Um, it has a really good smoky, earthy flavor and it brings a lot of additional flavor to the lentils as well. And you're also going to boil about one and a half pounds of russet potatoes so we can make our mashed potatoes as well. Again, make sure you salt the water when you are boiling your potatoes. It really helps with the flavor. We'll start with those two. You'll get your oven set to 400 degrees and we're gonna take half an onion and we're gonna start to saute that in a medium saucepan on medium high heat. I added two tablespoons of olive oil to the pan. It's on medium heat and I have half a cup of white onion, pretty finely chopped and ready to go. So I've stirred my onion now for about two minutes and now I'm going to add one and a half cups of lentils. I previously said I made two cups, which is a little extra, so we're just gonna use one and a half. Mix your one and a half cup lentils with onions and bring the heat up a tad higher. So next up, we're gonna add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Um, I use this organic tomato paste that comes in an aluminum tube, so it's BPA free, it's recyclable, and I get organic because tomatoes are on the dirty dozen list, so it's really important to buy organic if you can. about two tablespoons and give that a good mix. Now I'm going to add four cloves of fresh minced garlic. Give that a mix. And now we're gonna add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Now you're gonna add your mixed vegetables. I'm using half of a bag of, this one has carrots, green beans, corn, and lima beans. You could do just peas and corn, just peas and carrot, whatever you have on hand. You could also use fresh veggies, and you're gonna use about a cup of them. Add half a cup of broth, add salt, pepper, and I'm using Italian seasoning for the oregano and basil mostly and you're gonna let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Okay, while that's simmering, we're gonna go ahead and make our mashed potatoes. So I have one and a half pounds of russet potatoes. I'm gonna start giving them a good mash, and then I'm going to add, I'm gonna start with half of a cup of non-dairy milk, unsweetened, not vanilla flavored or anything. We're gonna add two teaspoons of garlic powder, and then two tablespoons of salted butter a teaspoon of salt, a pinch of pepper, and a splash of olive oil. Mix it up. You're gonna add half a cup of grated Parmesan to your mashed potatoes. We're gonna assemble our shepherd's pie. I have an 11 by eight baking dish. You can use a nine by nine to about this size for the shepherd's pie. And we're gonna take our lentil mixture that simmered for about five to 10 minutes until most of the liquid is evaporated, but you still want some left in the pan. So we're gonna add this to our pan. We have our lentil mixture smoothed into the pan. And you're gonna get your yummy mashed potatoes and we're gonna spread that on top of the lentils. First dollop the mashed potatoes on top and then we're gonna smooth it over. We're gonna put the shepherd's pie in our 400 degree oven for 30 minutes until golden brown. It's gonna be so good. It's ready. Our lentil shepherd's pie is ready. We had it in the oven for 30 minutes. It's a super nice golden brown color. 
FYI, you might want to put a tray under your baking dish just in case it boils over. I've topped our shepherd's pie with some parsley, sliced a piece, and we're ready for a taste test. Mike, are you ready? Me? Yes, you. Let's do this. Mmm! Oh my gosh! You put meat in this? I can taste the meat. There's no meat. It's so hearty, yet smooth. How often would you eat this? Daily. I hope you guys enjoyed our lentil shepherd's pie recipe. For more recipes, be sure to subscribe to our channel and visit our blog linked in our description below. Thank you guys so much for watching.